case study at New Horizon Computer Learning Centers. I am an applications instructor there, and even though I haven't worked there very long, I have uh, discovered something very interesting. Um, we have about 300 employees all together. Uh, there's centers within 10 states, many different cities within those states. Um, and we have taught classes in a traditional classroom. We teach on-site locations. And we also do what's uh, called online live classes. It's a virtual classroom. And we do it through Adobe Connect. And the training um, instructors have discovered that when we do the online live classes, we feel that the content doesn't flow very well and we are having a hard time engaging the students because of technological issues um, such as you know the instructor gets disconnected the student gets disconnected there's audio problems the sound keeps cutting out well we have decided to take a look at that but as we were as a collective group looking over the evaluations and going you know with a fine through comb through our evaluations that the students do after each class we found that something was a whole lot more wrong um, students were having um, their major problem was that we were not providing enough real world examples so we're not real sure how to do more real world examples without you know knowing what each person does professionally so we thought well we can in you know lengthen the introduction so that they are able to each tell us how they use whatever application it is so that we can relate it to them and decided that you know that would just drag out the um introduction too long and would cut into actual instruction time and then we thought well we could do generic we could just come up with generic ways that this can apply and then we realized well some people use it for professional use some people use it for personal use we don't know what they're going to be using it for so we are going to actually try to when we present a concept and we walk through the activity, because it's activity based, and we walk through the activity, we are going to have the students um, tell us how they think that it would apply to their um, job, to their personal life, however it is that they're going to be using the software. And then we're also going to have generic um, examples that we can give as well. That way we are giving plenty of examples as to how this is going to benefit them. So it brought me to thinking about andragogy. Andragogy is the science is the science of adult learning and it was actually um, adopted by Malcolm Knowles. He adopted it from Alexander Kapp. He is a German editor who coined the term um, after Plato's education philosophy and, develop, and Knowles developed the theory in adult learning. Um, Andra meaning man and Peta meaning child. And they've discovered that there is a lot of differences between how adults learn and how children learn. Some assumptions of the adult learners is they direct their own learning. They know what they want to get out of it. They bring their own life experiences. Um, learning needs to relate to social changes, and it also needs to have an immediate value. They need to know how they can apply it now. And they are motivated internally rather than externally. So we just decided that students do need to know. And the best way for them to know what, how it will apply in real-world examples is for them to give us the real-world example.